Hello everyone once again and welcome to the Stata learning video where we continue discussing regressions in Stata. Similarly to the first regression video, the dataset that we use is the example auto dataset and we focus on the relation between car weight and fuel consumption. Let's logarithmize the continuous variables, include them in the regression function and interpret their results. In regression analysis, logs can be used to examine percentage changes. Using logs is very easy once you learn it and for an empirical researcher, they are an extremely valuable tool. Only natural logs work in regressions, and if you try to use variables that are logarithmized using some other base than the E or, or the Euler's number, the coefficients cannot be interpreted as percentage changes. The fact that the natural logarithm can be interpreted as a percentage change can be quite easily shown mathematically. Note that a natural log does not itself mean anything. Therefore, summary statistics for a log of a variable cannot be interpreted. Logs are percentage changes only in regression functions. In Stata, variables can be logarithmized using two different commands, log and ln. These two commands are identical. For some reason, Stata has two commands for the same function. In any case, before taking logs, one has to remember that a negative value cannot be logarithmized. Therefore, if a variable includes negative values, as is very often the case, you cannot logarithmize it, except that you can. But Stata does not give any kind of error message if you take a log of a variable that has negative values. Stata simply creates an empty value for the negative values. Let's logarithmize the variable for a car's weight and also the mile age variable. These are the variables weight and mpg. A log is created using the command generate. Type gen, which is short for generate, log weight equals log, and then immediately inside parenthesis the variable name, which in this case is weight. The other variable is made in a similar way. Type gen log mpg equals ln and inside parenthesis mpg. Note that there must be no space between the log or the ln and the first parenthesis. And also note that log equals to ln. It is exactly the same command and I used both purely for demonstrational purposes. Normally I use only the log command, but that is just the matter of taste. Also, from here on, it doesn't matter whether the units for these variables are pounds or hundreds of, or of pounds or tons or kilograms or gallons of or liters, because the results are interpreted as percentage changes. When logs are included in a regression function, the interpretation of the coefficients depends on whether the dependent variable is a log, an independent variable is a log, or both variables are logs. Let's first run a bivariate regression where both the dependent and the independent variables, variables are logs. If both the y and the x variables are logs, the regression coefficient can be directly interpreted as a percentage change. Therefore, a 1% increase in a car's weight decreases miles per gallon by about 0.8%. 
if both of these variables were economic variables, this coefficient would be called an elasticity. If only the dependence variable is a log, the regression coefficient has to be multiplied by 100. In our case, the fuel consumption variable is a log and the car weight is measured in pounds. This is called a log linear model. The log variable is the one that is interpreted as a percentage change. As for the linear variable, it is interpreted as a unit change. Therefore, the interpretation is in this case that when a car's weight is increased by one pound, fuel consumption increases in such a way that miles per gallon decreases by 0.028%. In this case, we really would benefit from multiplying the weight variable, variable by, for example, 100, because the unit is now quite small. Nonetheless, this would not affect the results. The next case is a linear log model where only the independent variable is a log. In a linear log model, the log variable is again interpreted as a percentage change. As for the linear variable, it is interpreted as a unit change. If only the independent variable is a log, the coefficient has to be divided by 100. Now the coefficient is minus 17.8. Therefore, if a car's weight increases by 1%, miles per gallon decrease by minus 0 0.178 miles. It's about 300 yards. Before finishing, I will demonstrate how Stata does not give any kind of error message when taking logs of negative values. Let's use the command draw norm, which is one of the rarely needed Stata commands, and create a random variable with a mean of 0 and standard deviation of 1. This is the default in this command. About half of the observations should have a below zero value. Now let's make a log variable by typing gen log equals log and test. Let's go to the browse window to see the outcome. As you can see, there are missing observations next to negative values. Stata does not give any kind of message of this. So every time you make logs, be careful that there are no negative values in the variable. It takes a bit of repeating to remember when to divide or multiply the coefficient by 100. Despite this, using logs is very easy and you should use them a lot. In our example of fuel consumption regression, the correct way to estimate the model is to use the log-log model. One should avoid using absolute values to the extent possible because logs tend to reduce the problems caused by heteroscedasticity. I will return to that in another video. Until next time, have fun working with Stata.